dear students we are discussing about manipulator control which is a topic to be covered in the fourth unit of robotics and automation as you all know what is a manipulator manipulator control so manipulator means a combination of body arm and wrist assembly of a robo together is called a manipulator for the robo to perform any task its end effector should be moved accurately and repeatedly manipulator control ensures that the end effector moves as desired to perform a task manipulator control system accepts the joint location time history as input and causes the manipulator to track a desired trajectory so what you are seeing here in this slide is a complete layout or a schematic diagram of manipulator control system in this the desired task that is the position and orientation of the end effector is fed as the input to the trajectory planner so the trajectory planner provides the position velocity and acceleration as a control set points together all the three the position velocity and acceleration together is called a control set points these control set points are developed based on the position and orientation of the end effector these control set points are provided to the manipulator control system and these manipulator control system provides the actuator command which is fed as input to the manipulator and manipulator makes the end effector to move to the desired task this this system is provided with a dotted line which is a feedback system so when there is a feedback in the manipulator control system we say this control system is a closed loop control system when this feedback system is not present we call the same manipulator control system as open loop control system so remember if there is a feedback system we call it as a closed loop if there is no feedback we call the same system as open loop so when there is a feedback the actual joint end effector location and velocities are fed back to the manipulator control system if suppose the desired task is not achieved so the feedback system will help us to get the desired task to be done so if there is error the error can be rectified through the feedback system so this is what is given in this slide so the previous diagram or the schematic diagram is explained in this slide as you all see the manipulator control system can be of open type or closed type so the difference is if there is a feedback system we call that as a closed loop if there is no feedback we call that as a open loop control system if there are multiple joints in a robo then we need a master joint control system this master joint control system provides the necessary set points for each and every joint say for example for joint 1 the position velocity and acceleration are represented as q1 q1 dot q1 dot dot for joint 2 the acceleration velocity and position are represented as q2 q2 dot q2 dot dot similarly for n joints 
its corresponding position velocity and acceleration set points are generated by the master control system based on the set points the manipulators for joint 1 joint 2 up to joint n are modeled and the required uh, end effector task is being done So the same explanations are provided in this slide for the previous schematic diagram of multiple joints for the robo. So the components of a manipulator control systems are prescribed in this particular diagram. So any manipulator control will have a comparator, controller, power amplifier, actuators, manipulators, sensors and there is a feedback system. So remember, if there is a feedback system, we call this manipulator control system as a closed loop control system. So the sensors senses the movement of manipulator and the position, velocity, and acceleration of the current current position, velocity, and acceleration of the manipulator is fed back and compared with the actual position, velocity and acceleration of the end effector is compared there. So desired and the actuals are compared with the help of a feedback system. If there is any error between the desired and the actual, the controller will, will produce necessary set points. It is amplified by a power amplifier and then the amplified signals are fed to the actuators and actuators will provide the necessary commands to the manipulator to meet the desired task. So depending upon the control law used to compute the joint torque, control schemes can be classified as either linear control system or non-linear control schemes. As you all know, linear control schemes where the output will be in proportion to the change in the input, whereas non-linear, the output, change in the output will not be in proportion with the change in the input schemes. Thank you. That's the end of manipulator control scheme topic.